All right, Nick Chubb went bananas, as did Leonard Fournette this week. Chubb, 20 for 165 and 3, the third most rushing yards ever allowed by Baltimore. You talk about defenses you expected to have good weeks. If you played the Rams, the Ravens, the Packers, you probably got negative points, and they did not show up this week. So, you know, Nick Chubb went ham the browns very impressive important performance for them beating baltimore on the road yeah their their tackle their defensive tackle brandon williams was out that was kind of like a late addition to the the injury report on sunday morning so and when that news came out it was whoa this that's a big deal for nick chubb and he absolutely came through yeah it was it was interesting because this was a game that you finally saw the Browns with a big lead and able to say, "Hey, we're just gonna we're going to protect the lead and run the ball a lot." Uh, he did his damage later in the game, or as the game went along and they and they were up, their defense was playing outstanding. So it's one of those things where, you know, in a matchup where they're winning, it's good to see that they're not going to just continue to throw the ball like crazy, but they they'll protect the lead and give it to Chuck. Um, we've got Jordan Howard with the big game from Thursday. Christian McCaffrey doing his thing. Austin Eckler. Maybe waving to the crowd as he an awesome swan. Yes, song. thank you, Austin Eckler, very much. Did he take a little lap around the stadium he afterwards, high fiving his fantasy owners? Wayne Gallman did his thing: eighteen for sixty-three and a touchdown, six for fifty-five and one through the air. Six for what? Fifty-five. Oh no, schedule. Minnesota, New England, coming up for Wayne Gallman. But if he's the only back in town. With the passing game involvement, he is not yes. going to goose you. He's it's, going to give you double digits, most likely, even in those matchups. It's the just, seven targets. That's very interesting. Yeah, you just won't have these touchdowns, which are pretty important. Yep. So, so Todd Gurley was 5 for 16 on the ground, had two touchdowns, 7 for 54 through the air. But I'm not going to – you know, 11 targets is great. It's great that you saw that. He had 68 pass attempts in this game. They were getting blown out. So – Sure. I mean, it, it's good to see him involved in the passing game for the first time this year. Has Seattle on Thursday. Ty Gurley, did your thoughts on him change at all this week? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess my thoughts were more confirmed. I believe that they were going to make a concerted effort to get him more involved in the passing game based on what was being said after the loss and or uh, the, the victory, but after the criticism in week three about Gurley's utilization. Uh, obviously, they, they weren't able to give him the ball on the ground a lot because this game got out of hand really quickly, but they were they were passing the ball to Gurley. That's the thing I've been missing. That's the thing I've been wanting to see. So, yeah, I, I, I think Gurley is going to be a fine option uh, if he's not injured. Chris Carson, 145 total yards, did not score, had 26 touches against Arizona, looked every bit the guy, and did not fumble. Yeah, you did it. Every play, you did no, we, it, Chris. We, we had the privilege of going to that game, uh, spending some time with the NFL League One team and the Arizona Cardinals team and being down on the field and watching the Cardinals, our team, get manhandled and destroyed at home once again. But we got to watch Chris Carson in person and every single play, an extra yard, an extra two yards, an extra three yards, involved in the passing game. So it was a good bounce-back game for him. Some of those bounce back players, Carson, Robert Woods, uh, it was nice to see that this week. You know, it's only week four, guys. It's week four. The whole season has not been defied, decided. And you look at, uh, you brought up, you know, Jameis Winston. He made a really bad week one impression. Right. He stunk week one. Yes. Had three good games afterwards. The end versus true of Sammy Watkins. Monstrous game one, three bad games afterwards. Yet the impression from week one because of months and months and months and months of anticipation, it's a strong one. If you're not smart as a fantasy owner and willing to adjust beyond week one, you're going to lose. I mean, you have to be able to make changes to your team. Uh, anybody else you want to mention at running back that had a, a nice week? Darrell Williams saved his week with a couple of touchdowns, but that was kind of the recipe for success. I wanted to bring up Kerryon Johnson, who had a monster game on the ground. And the, the number that's more important to me and shout out to Adam Leviton uh, for highlighting this information on Twitter. Since C.J. Anderson has been released, 73% of the snaps, 79% of the running back carries, averaging nearly 25 touches per game Woo, for Kerryon Johnson. Like they they let C.J. go, 
and they have unlocked Carry On Johnson. They almost the, won this game too, the but one, he lost them the game. The one red flag for Carry On Johnson was an extremely costly goal line fumble. It was it, you saw him on the goal line again. That was fantastic news for Carry On Johnson's fantasy value. But they yeah, they but, win the game if he doesn't do that. But have to wait and see what Matt Patricia and his axe will decide. Will he will he bring the axe down on Carry On being the goal line back? And my axe. I doubt it, because I don't think he's got an option. Right. That's part of it. Uh, which is kind of what happened in Seattle. That's why I had confidence in Carson. It wasn't so much. Look, if you had a, if Rashad Penny had been fully healthy, I'd been scared out of my mind about Chris Carson not getting the opportunity to reestablish, but carry on. I, who are you going to hand the ball to in right. that situation? 26 carries, 28 touches. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If those were the best few minutes of your life, you should probably click the subscribe button and check out a full-length episode.